So we're just about to unscrew um, the bolt on the sump of a Volvo V50 to do an oil change. Um, this is the sump. This is the bolt that we've got one do. Um, I've already taken the sump shield off the bottom of the car. So the next job is just one do that and then let the oil drain out. I've already brought the engine up to its uh, operating temperature. It's always a good idea to do that first, just so that the oil drains out nicely. Right, so I'm just going to undo the bolt on the oil sump. This is what keeps all the oil in. So we just undo it slightly and then finger pressure. You want to undo it to the point where you keep hold of the bolt. Easier said than done because it's very slippery when oily. Hold on to it just at the end and then the oil should start flooding out. Is it there yet? No, not yet. A couple more turns. Nine out of ten times you'll probably drop the bolt into the pan. But anyway, there it is. So the engine oil is now pouring out and what we can do now is just position the pan that's collecting it to be in the middle, that helps. Towards the end it does get very spluttery. The next job we want to do now is under the bonnet and we want to remove the oil filter. Once the oil filter is removed um, the flow rate of the oil will go up again. So next job is to get the engine cover off. which uses a 10mm socket. And this just pulls up and it's attached here on that side push it and pull it and it comes off. Next thing we need to do is get access to the oil filter. To do that we're going to have to take the air hose that feeds the turbo there and to do that you're going to need one of these to undo this. Um, undo this Jubilee clip and then just pull these up to get this part of the hose off and that will give us access to the oil filter which is just underneath it. Um, if you're also replacing the air filter which is in here you'd need 7mm sockets to get into it. Um, I'm not replacing the air filter because I did that last year and it's still good um, but next year I'll be replacing that as well. Okay so to get this off we just put these special pliers underneath this and pull it back and there we go, that will then loosen off and we should be able to pull this off there we go, it's loosening up probably best to wear gloves for this um, and we can undo this Jubilee clip here I tend to mark where the right torque is on mine with a marker pen as you can see there's a red mark there that's nice and loose and then these unclip on both sides to release that one um, right so everything's been loosened now so this yeah there we go that's coming off there we go and there we have it that is the air hose for the turbo on this model of v50 volvo you do get a bit of oil in there um, so we'll give that a little bit of a clean up with a rag. So I like to give it just a bit of a clean up. So I'm not dripping any oil, I'll put that down. And then also do the same to the inlet for the turbo and the outlet from the air filter
So to get to the oil filter you need to get to this exhaust pipe and to do that you're going to need to loosen a bolt here which I think is about 10 mil. Um, it's tricky to get to so what you're going to need is a short extension bar. Um, put it in sideways and then onto that nut and let's see if we can loosen this off. It's a bit of a tricky position to work on. There we go, that's loose. Not finger loose yet though. There we go. So we just removed the bolt, uh, 10 mil, that holds on uh, the exhaust pipe. Um, we need to do that. There's another bolt underneath as well, and we need to do that so we can get access to the oil filter cap here. Um, so we've got that one off. Now on for the next one. So the next bolt we have to undo is just here. So just give you an idea of where it is. Um, and that is an M10 head on that as well. It's going to be difficult to video, so I'm just going to undo it. So that is now undone. You want to be able to move that from there, and we can get on to the next stage of taking the oil filter off. Right, so to get to the oil filter, it is behind a few hoses. So it is just here, just under where the air filter hose connects. You can just see it there. Now that is a 27 mil um, socket that you need for that. Um, so we're going to undo that now. So you want your 27 mil socket without an extension bar. And it's a little bit tricky, but it's doable. I think part way through you might need an extension bar added because you run out of space. But this is a little bit tricky, not a lot of room to do this. So you need to kind of hold the hose out the way, uh, the exhaust out the way while you do it. And once you've got the cap of the oil filter off, you'll notice that more oil will start to come out of the sump. I think that might be finger tight, let's see. Yeah. There we go. And you can hear the oil pouring out now. So as you can see, the oil would pretty much stop dripping. Um, you take the oil filter out and it starts again. Also you get a few drips from where you're taking the oil filter out, so make sure you've got top oil in down. Righty, so that oil filter is now free. I'm just going to take that out. It is a bit messy. And there we have it. So that is the oil filter um, ready to be taken out. They are quite stiff to get out, um, so you're probably going to need two hands to pull it out. Make sure you're wearing gloves. Put the old oil filter out, have a bag ready to throw it in because that is a messy job. And then you have the oil filter cap, which will need to clean with 
a brake cleaner and it has an o-ring which you need to take off like that that can be thrown away um, you clean this out put some fresh oil into the area where the o-ring goes and when you put the new o-ring on you need to make sure it's oriented correctly because if you haven't done that you'll get an oil leak from your oil filter so we're just going to clean out where the oil filter has come out again it's tricky to film this and actually get a job done so just gone from a different angle just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to clean this out with a clean rag. So we're going to put the new oil filter in now and you have to get the orientation right. Um, some instructions say put it in the actual oil filter cap first but I always prefer to put it in first here so you can spin the oil filter around until you feel it um, engage it will then go in a little bit more than it was when you were spinning it around once it's on you can then put the oil filter cap back on so now we're going to just put the oil filter cap back on again getting it in around all these hoses and filming is not impossible. There we go, that is now on and carefully turn it. And as I mentioned before, make sure you have got the correct orientation on the O ring. and now we've tightened it up finger tight we're just going to tighten it up with the 27 mil socket remember not to over tighten this i think it's 25 nanometers torque maximum which isn't much at all and we're nearly there there, that's it. That is now tight. Right, so this is a sump bolt and sump bolt washer. Take the old washer off. I've cleaned these up just now. Take that off, throw that away, and get a new one. Uh, you need to use a new one, otherwise you could get a leak from the sump. Um, and we pop the new one on, and once that is on there we're ready to screw that back into the sump now the thread on the actual sump is not very strong that's why there's a very low uh, torque required so do it with a you know very gentle tightness if you overdo it you'll be taking your car to a garage to get your sump replaced which uh, will probably cost a lot more than um, you'd expect so what I'm going to do is just give this a quick, quick wipe. There's always still a little bit of oil that drips out. And we can start screwing in. Make sure you've got a good hold of it. You don't want to drop it in the oil. Screw it in a bit, give it another wipe. And then you can tighten it up with a, is it a 20? I think it's a 21. 21, I think, yeah. So I'm going to put the 21 socket on, 21 mil socket on, and yeah, it's 21. Very slight tightness. And that's about it. Done. Okay, we're just going to pour off the oil we got from the engine, which is here, into a container take it away to the dump and as this is a V50 diesel you can see the oil gets very black it actually gets black very quickly
make sure you're doing this not on your driveway somewhere that is a little bit less important because if you spill the oil it's really difficult to clean it especially off paving stones or pavers okay so this is where the bolt goes it's the reverse of the initial procedure it's difficult to film and do it so uh, I'm gonna start putting it in and then maybe uh, I'll show you where it is at the end again so you want to get that bolt finger tight use a socket extension on it and then go to the top bolt and start tightening that one finger tight okay so I'm just putting in the uh, exhaust uh, support bolt um, quite tricky actually to film this and do it so what I do is just use uh, the socket on a small extension and you should be able to use that just to get that finger tight there we go and then you can bring um, the socket wrench in to tighten that up and then the one under the engine as well right now we need to put the turbo hose back on from the air filter um, same procedure as taking it off but in reverse so this just clips in make sure the bottom and the top have clipped in um, you will need a 10 mil socket to screw this jubilee clip back to where it was remember not to over tighten this make a reference when you take it off because if you over tighten it you will just chew through the uh, the hose um, and the last bit is this which we'll use a special uh, pliers for and there we go that is now on check it's nice and tight and that has gone down um, make sure the hose is clipped in in all the areas that you took it off from and that's that part done right next we need to put the new oil in um, so obviously the new oil goes in here I think I managed to drip a little bit of oil from the turbo hose I'm just going to clean that up Okay, we're ready to put the new oil in, so we need to take that off and just put that somewhere on a cleanish rag. You want a nice six inch funnel, they work well. I'm using fully synthetic oil and you need about, I think 3.9 for the Volvo 1.6D. So I'll pour about three quarters of this oil in and then what we'll do is we'll check with a dipstick how much we've got in there. So I've just checked and we're nearly at half a litre left in this for Four litres we're in it to begin with, so yeah, we've got half a litre left in the container. I'm just going to put the cap on, and what we'll do is we'll take the car off the ramps now, so, so it's level, and then using the dipstick we'll check how much we've got left to put in. But it's probably the whole, the rest of the container, the half litre, but just to be sure, that's what we're going to do. Right, now we need to put the sump shield back on. Now to do this, you hook the sump shield in at the back and once it's hooked in it should stay actually 
stop a minute, Ben. I can't see it with this. Right, so now we're just going to reinstall the sump shield. It needs to clip in at the back first in two places. Basically here and the same place on the opposite side. Once you've done that, you can start screwing it in, screwing it in at the front. It, it needs a torque 30 bit. And if you've got a screwdriver, a drill driver to do that, that will help. Oh, there it is. Right, to remove the sump shield, there's a number of these um, T30, Torx 30 um, screws to take out. So there's three at the front, leave the middle one at the front till last, one on the side, one at the back. On each side, um, you can take the ones at the back out first because it's retained here. Um, so even though you've take the, taken the screws out all around, you'll leave that middle one to last. And once you've got that out, then the front will come down. You can pull it forward and then you've got the sump shield off. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just take the disc stick out and give it a clean. Pop it back in and check the oil level. So that looks about 80%. Okay, so what we're going to do now is put the cap back on the oil. And we're just going to run the engine for a couple of minutes. Let the um, oil filter refill with oil. And let that oil then, after we've run the engine for a few minutes, settle back down to the sump. Then we'll check it again. We'll check the level with a dipstick and see how much more oil we need to add to the engine. Okay, so we've let the engine run for a bit and then left it a couple of minutes just to settle down. And so what that would do is let the oil fill the oil filter and trickle back down to the bottom of the sump so we can see how much we've really got now with a dipstick. And as you can see, that is about 50%. So obviously first thing you do when you do what I've just done is wipe it put it back in take it out and that's your true reading and what's about 45 50 percent from full so you've got the minimum marker here and that at the top there is your maximum marker so we're about there so we want to add some more oil to the car so from servicing this car obviously quite a few times I know exactly how much needs to go into the engine. Um, I have about 500 mil left of oil in here. It will probably take all of it to be honest with you but we will just pour half of that in and then retest. Maybe a bit more. Okay, so we're going to see what level we've got now. See that looks like it's raised, but let's dip again. Yeah, it's gone a bit higher. So I think we'll just pour the rest of the oil in. That should take us to pretty much full, I'd imagine. When pouring oil, it's always best to pour it sideways rather than like that especially when the container's full doesn't matter so much when it's empty or half empty but you'll get an air trap and then it'll kind of glug out more than just pour out good little tip that and use a funnel don't freehand pour without a funnel you just get oil everywhere and we're just going to check this for the final time this should be pretty much okay so it's about 90 percent There we go, you can fill a little bit of oil in. Um, 
a little bit more and that's it you're done that is the oil change complete um, next job is just to put the cap back on make sure that's on properly and tight and the next job we're going to do with this car is uh, bleed the brakes so just bleeding the brakes now so there's the master cylinder <sighs> unscrew the cap I'm using a pressure bleeder so screw instead of the cap the pressure bleeder with the correct adapter um, you then put your brake fluid into this bottle pump it to about 15 to 20 psi through the pump and then you need to connect a collector to um, the brake caliper nipples so on this Volvo V60 we have a 10 mil um, nut to undo at the back to bleed the brakes at the front it's actually a 9 millimeter spanner you'll need and so this bottle is now filling up with the old brake fluid 